while we went up this one mountain, chasing the crops. They were good at running. <laughs> and, uh, but they ran when it was strategically the best thing to do. And for me, that was all the time. <laughs> but they, we were taking over their sled trenches and fighting holes. There was one beautiful big hole built kind of sideways in the side of the mountain. Nice, everything nice and neat and clean. And I remember my platoon sergeant, Ward D. Hay, telling the lieutenant, let's stay away from that one. The lieutenant says, why? That's a beautiful hole. He says, yep. And look how nice and neat it is. Sort of. He says, they neaten that up that to temp guys, he said. That's probably on the map, artillery maps. And they might lay an egg in that hole. Oh, crap, the lieutenant said, I ain't digging a hole, that's my CP. About well, four days later, there was a lieutenant and three guys down on the side of that hole, and I was sitting up on the side of it. <clears throat> we were getting, you know, uh, compass directions, stuff, we were maps, and we were going out on a patrol. And there was four guys in the hole, and there was no room for me. And I was the least guy anyway. I was going to, you know, for security, we were BAI. And I was sitting up there eating my can of sea rations, and a, a shell came in right over my head and landed right in the hole. Four of them died immediately, and the lieutenant survived till about halfway down the mountain on the litter, he died. But he didn't listen. Uh, that was the nasty part of the war. There were some good parts. Oh, yes, there were some good parts. <laughs>